Glover, if we could start with you. Um, very effective performance tonight. I mean, you were certainly dominant, but not as entertaining, I guess, as you'd probably like to be. Uh, just give us your thoughts overall on, on how things played out this evening. Yeah, I apologize for that. You know, uh, was was uh, not the way that I like to fight, not the way that I like to finish my fights. But, um, you know, I had to deal with a uh, little situation back in the camp, and uh, I have to play smarter this fight, man. Come out of the loss like uh, with Anthony Johnson and uh, just in my my game a little bit. But, yes, I, I understand um, that I have to step up in my game and uh, work on that speed and boxing and uh, if I want to. I want to have to fight, uh, you know, the top five contenders like Cormier, Johnson, and, uh, and Jones. They uh, have to step up my game for sure. And when you said you had to make adjustments, I mean, were the takedowns, I mean, did you kind of come in tonight knowing that, that wrestling was, was, was going to be your strategy, basically? Yeah, I work with a lot of my wrestling, uh, you know, even before Johnson fight, that was, you know, the game plan. Uh, work him in the, in the wrestling, and uh, I've been working a lot on my wrestling, my jiu-jitsu, it's, uh, it's very good. I need to maybe maybe go down with Jacare and work some finish with him. Uh, I, I have very good confidence in my jiu-jitsu, but uh, I need to work on, on more finishes. And uh, in my box, I just, uh, sometimes I load up too much. I know I have the power, and I, know I, I, look, I look so much for that one punch knockout, and, um, and maybe that's what I, I you know, I know I'm going to catch the guy, I'm going to knock him out, but uh, I just got a patient and uh, throw c combo fast combinations. Hey, Scott, last thing for me. Can you detail when the injury happened? I mean, you said it was kind of rupturing an old injury, but, uh, I mean, when did it happen? Did you think about pulling out, and, and how long are you going to be out, do you think, in, in getting healthy? You know, uh, it's always like in the first day, you give it a day or two to, you know, to to call in and see what's going on. I mean, I wasn't going to risk it if it was a bad injury, but like, uh, you know, it was like uh, I, felt, I felt my labor a little bit and uh, because it was an old injury, that's why it got, got me worried a little bit. And um, yeah, it was kind of like affecting my, my boxing a little bit for the last two weeks, but uh I don't think it's a big deal. I think uh, this week that I take it off is is much much better. So uh, I don't think I think it, it, it heals up and and they own like if I take a couple weeks off, I'll be I'll be okay. You know, if not, you know, of course I gotta fix that, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Thanks, Clover. And if I could just quickly for Jacare, um, congratulations, of course, on an, another impressive victory tonight. What do you do next? Uh, we don't know when Bisping and Yoel Romero are going to fight. Do you wait for that, or do you feel like there's any way maybe you could even slip in and, and challenge for the title? I want to fight as a champion, but if it's going to take a long time, I prefer to make a fight more, because I didn't come to wait for the others, I came to make it happen. I want to fight the champion. If it's gonna take a while, I might take another fight because I don't want to sit around. I was not born to be sit around, so I might take a fight if it's gonna take too long to get a title shot. Quick question for Jacare. <clears throat> Tim Boach has now been submitted by Kimura three times. Was that a move you were specifically looking for because he's submitted to that a bunch of times already? Or was that just something that came natural and the fight progressed? É, a posição aconteceu durante a luta, tanto é que eu desisti de uma montada para ir para Kimura, mas o Tim tem brecha no jogo dele no chão, muitas, e ele cai também de Katagatame, né? são duas posições que eu acharia que ele poderia cair, o Katagatame ou a Kimura. Foi a posição que aconteceu durante a luta, eu dei uma mão para ir para the Kimura, e foi a posição que eu ganhei todo o tempo, então foi uma boa chance para mim. So it was a good shot for me. And for Glover, you hit that low single three rounds in a row, basically. Was that something that you were looking for in the fight, in a specific takedown, or again, just something that came as the fight progressed? Yeah, you know, it, it just come the way the, the fight went, uh, the way he stand, he stand more like a, a boxing stance and uh, stay with, the, with the front leg right out there. I mean, I've been working a lot of my wrestling, a lot of... Uh, uh, different singles and, and uh, double legs, uh, upper body. You know, I've been working uh, with Steve Mark, one of the best wrestlers in, uh, in the USA. So, uh, but but that point was just like uh, I think it was the easiest way to to take him down was with a single. Yeah. 
Um, Glover, you mentioned in the Octagon that you know you had to make these changes if you wanted to compete with sort of the Daniel Cormier's and the, and the John Jones. Have you pinpointed sort of what, what areas you do need in order to, to take that next step? You know, man, I'm, I'm very confident that I, and my skills, uh, the way I train, and like, uh, you know, I have ups and downs on, on the training, and I've been adjusting to the training and everything, but I, um, you know, like I said before, I have a, I have a tremendous confidence on my power and uh, my jiu-jitsu. My wrestling is getting better every day, and uh, it's just a little adjustment that I have to make, you know. Those guys, uh, they, they're very good. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm up there with them. You know, you put me like like you know like you see today, uh, even with a uh, with a minor injury. But like you know, coming down to this fight was a little bit like uh, nervous because uh, was a, was a, was a lot of pressure because uh, coming from a loss like uh, was a quick loss with Anthony Johnson and fighter guys that's not in the top ten. You put a lot in the line, so. You have to play smart, you know, a as well. I mean, you don't want to, I mean, I'm the kind of guy that I go and I take the risk, uh, but, uh, you know, this fight, I have to be smart. And uh, if I fight any of those, those top guys again, like, you know, adjustments uh, always going to come, but, you know, you know, my style is to, go, to get in there and trying to, how, I'm not very happy with the performance today, you know, I'm coming, it's like a, I have that feeling that I, 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 you know, I need to finish a fight. I need to finish that fight. I could finish and um, I didn't. So. so, so were the nerves still there even when the fight sort of got going? I mean, were you were you still sort of thinking at all about? No, I think uh, you know, like I say, go make adjustments and and, and trying to get better. But uh, you know, um, not very happy with the performance and I and my next fight. Um, you know, you guys are gonna see me trying to go more for the finish. Like I say, I'm gonna. Go train and train a lot of jiu-jitsu, a lot of finishes, and uh, train in my boxing because I need to be knocking people out and uh, finish people in the ground as well. I don't. I'm, that's not my type of game to wrestle people around and you know. It, I, tell the truth, was not even like um, he was. He was hard, you know. He was defending a lot. He was not trying to get out too much of the positions or trying to finish. He was defending a lot, and when when guys play. Defensive like that is, is very hard to to finish him, you know. If you play, you have to open up so you can, you know, see the, the finishes. Um, and then just, just for Jacare, um, you know, with the way the fight went today, and you know, with the uncertainty, you know, given the fence grabbing and all of that, I mean, if you, if you can't get Bisbing, would Romero be the, the number one guy sort of on your list at this point? Então, de acordo com a luta hoje, como a luta hoje, se não puderem, se não derem bico, ah, com certeza seria uma opção. É uma luta que eu quero. Eu nunca perdi uma revanche e com o Romero não vai ser diferente. Eu vou provar que eu não perdi aquela luta para ele e que eu perdi para os juízes. If the fight against Romero happens, I can prove that I never lost my match and it's going to be a great fight for me. I'm going to prove that I didn't lose the first fight and a rematch will be my, on my side. I lost to the judge. Not your hand. <laughs> Hi, my question it goes to Glover. Uh, Glover, você pode falar um pouquinho em português? Como é que você se sentiu com a sua performance hoje dentro do octógono? É, eu não me senti tão contente com a performance, no, porque eu sou um cara que procuro sempre finalizar a luta, e eu achei que depois passou a luta, eu vi algumas oportunidades que eu poderia ter finalizado. E, e é isso que eu falei que vou trabalhar, vou trabalhar mais na finalização de jiu-jitsu, que eu tenho uma confiança boa no jiu-jitsu, mas trabalho bastante ground and pound, e wrestling, então eu tenho que trabalhar mais o meu jiu-jitsu e trabalhar mais essas finalizações e também trabalhar bastante o boxe, que eu sou um cara que eu tenho que entrar ali, eu gosto de pressionar, eu gosto de sair com a nocaute, com a finalização, porque acho assim, um lutador como o Jerry é um, é um grande lutador, um lutador bem forte, difícil de ser finalizado, mas um usador como ele, eu, eu, eu deveria ter saído ali com a vitória, com a finalização ou nocaute. Você acredita que agora, com essa vitória, você vai estar tá próximo de lutar pelo título? É, próximo sim, né? mas assim, eu acredito que eu vou ter que lutar uma ou duas vezes mais, e, mas 
a gente está ali, na, né, número 3, e eu segurei a minha vaga, e nunca se sabe quando que a oportunidade pode bater na porta. Nesse esporte, é um esporte de contato, então, tudo pode acontecer. E se a única coisa que eu tenho que fazer é ficar preparado e esperar a oportunidade, não deixar a oportunidade passar. Tá certo, obrigada. Nada. A pergunta para os dois também, Glover e Jacaré. Que... Ah, vocês estão bem, super bem colocados nas suas divisões e já deixaram claro que não vão ficar esperando a próxima luta. Assim, vocês querem continuar lutando e, dessa vez, vocês pegaram dois caras que estão fora do top 10. Vocês não acham que vocês, como que vocês se sentem nessa, nadando meio que contra a maré do MMA, ah, não indo atrás das money fights? Primeiro, primeiramente, eu acho que o cantor canta, o dançarino dança, o lutador luta, a gente está aqui para trabalhar, e a gente trabalha para o UFC, e o UFC trabalha com luta. Eu estava pronto para lutar agora, dia 26 de novembro, contra um top da divisão, um ex-campeão, Luke Rockhold, e todos sabem que ele amarelou, ele correu, ele está chutando, está treinando, até mais que eu, ele está falando que tem uma lesão no joelho, ele não sabe nem o que é lesão, ele não sabe nem o que é lesão. É, a realidade é que ele está amarelando, e, cara, eu tenho que lutar, e o que, eu, o que eu venho reparando é que todos os atletas que ficam muito tempo sem lutar não, tem uma, não voltam bem para a luta, entendeu? Eu estou aproximadamente oito meses sem lutar, eu ia lutar com o top da divisão que não compareceu, que amarelou e que correu. Então, eu tinha que trabalhar. Agradeço ao UFC por ter me dado essa oportunidade de trabalhar agora no 208. E, cara, ninguém aqui está remando contra a maré, não. Todo mundo está feliz, está trabalhando, está ganhando um bom salário. Acredito que o Glover também. E, cara, é, cada luta é uma luta e uma vitória te impulsiona, independente de ser um, um atleta top da divisão ou não. É, eu vou concordar com o Jacaré aqui. Também dizer que a gente, igual o caso, a gente está aqui para lutar, a gente tem que entrar no octagon, igual ele falou, a gente vai ficar esperando por alguém em top 5, vai ficar esperando a vida inteira, entendeu? Que às vezes os caras não querem arriscar, e a gente, a gente arrisca e, e cai para dentro, tem que ganhar o dinheiro, tem que, nem, nem, nem só pelo dinheiro também, pelo esporte, pelo, igual ele falou, vai ficar um ano parado, é, a gente não é, não, 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 não vive disso, não é a nossa... Não é a nossa a nossa, como é que fala? É, isso aí, a gente não, não fica, sei lá, meu irmão, a gente tem que lutar, eu gosto de lutar, e se eu estiver bem fisicamente, eu tenho que lutar, luto com qualquer um, é um risco, mas o Tiago Leidel me falou isso há muito tempo atrás, se você quer ser campeão, você vai lutar com qualquer um, se você perdeu para um cara que, que não é top 10, porque você não deveria, que você não era campeão, que você não era para ser campeão, meu irmão, tem que ganhar. Oh, I, uh, I mean, I watch him. I was doing an interview, I wa but like you know, I watch him a little bit. Uh, I think he, Anderson is is a phenomenal man. You know, he he have nothing else to prove, and uh, he still have the movements. I mean, and uh, he's a great fighter, man. All I have to say, uh, like I say, I didn't see the whole fight, but the the, the little that I see, and his move, he does things in octagon that nobody nobody did it, nobody ever gonna do. You know. He's like Muhammad Ali of the sport, no doubt. Eu não cheguei a ver a, a luta do Anderson completa. Eu vi alguns movimentos que ele que ele fez ali que foi bastante impressionante, alguns movimentos de capoeira. Ele tem que ser um pouco irreverente mesmo, ele é assim. Para mim ele é o, o da ele é o maior artista marcial de todos os tempos. E eu acredito que ele tenha dado um bom show essa noite. Depois eu quero parar para ver as técnicas do Anderson Silva que eu não tive a oportunidade de ver dessa vez. I didn't have a opportunity to see a lot of the fight, but the few I see, I was stoked. I saw some capoeira movements, and you know, Anderson is Anderson. For me, he's a, the best martial art, martial art ever, ever, ever happened. So when I get home, I'm gonna make sure to go watch the fight and learn new tricks from Anderson, the man.
That's all, folks. Thank you, guys.